Hello everyone, um, welcome to another C-sharp tutorial. Uh, sorry I've been a little bit busy with school and everything. Uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit special because I'm gearing up for some interviews of some companies um, for an internship this summer, so I thought I'd be a little bit different with this uh, tutorial and maybe a couple more after that and just go over interview questions that you might uh, see if, if you like interview for some sort of uh, programming job. Now these are questions that they're going to ask you um, to like solve either on paper or on a whiteboard or maybe if you're lucky you'll be able to type it out in an IDE like this one. Uh, the main reason that they ask you these kinds of questions is that they really want to hear your thought process so you really want to be talking the entire time that you're working on this uh, program and it's not necessarily that you get the fully correct answer or even the most efficient answer it's all about um, how they want to know how you think and they want to know if you're able to solve complex problems so um, the first one I've just kind of thought of a few different questions that I've heard people ask uh, the first one's pr a pretty easy one we're just gonna go over and uh, we will see how it goes so the question is, I'm just going to type it out here, uh, given a time, uh, hour and minute, find out the angle, I guess acute angle between the two hands. So if you're given a time, say like 5.30, you have to find out the angle in between the 5 and the, uh, the 5 hour hand and the 30 minute hand. Um, now, when someone first says this problem, it might be a little bit overwhelming, and you might get um, a little bit confused. But the thing is to just try and try and rationalize each part of the uh, of the program, and uh, kind of um, think about like break it down into specific parts and say what you really know uh, to figure out like what you really need to know. So uh, we know that there's, you know, 12 hours in a clock, and we know that the clock is 360 degrees, not 350, and I don't know if I know how to spell degrees, degrees, there we go. Uh, so these are some basic information that you should be able to understand. Uh, so that means that there's 30 degrees in between each um, hour hand. Now these are some things that you're going to want to talk to your interview about. Just be like, okay, I know this and this and this, and um, once I get this, then um, I'll be able to, you know, kind of expound upon it. So now that we have this, we can pretty much, oh, another thing is, um, one thing they might want to, might want you to add is that when, when the minute hand moves, the hour hand also kind of moves with it so that it reaches the next one uh, once the minute hand reaches 60. And we can think of it, if, if this hour hand has to move in a 30 degrees, and there's 60 minutes uh, that it could move, we pre can pretty much say it moves 30 over 60 each time, which is 0 0.5 degrees. So that's another interesting uh, piece of information that we can use. So let's go ahead and um, let's say we have uh, double hour and double minutes. Um, let's say 5 minutes equals 30. And this will kind of... Um, say you're provided with this information. So in order to find, basically, we, let's just get the angle of the hour and then the angle of the minute hand um, and just work from there. So the angle, let's just angle hour equals, um, remember that there's 30 degrees for each hour starting from 1. So I think we can just do 5 times 30. And then remember it also moves with each minute. So we can just do... Um, 0.5 times minutes. And if you see this, basically we're moving, this is the angle of how much it's moved based on the hour. Oh, sorry, I should probably do hour there. Um, and this is how much it's moved based off the minute. So that's probably the more simple one. And then double angle minutes. And this one, basically, if we know it moves 30 degrees for each hour, we know it also moves um, 30 degrees for each, what is it, 5 minutes or something? Because 12 times 5 is 50, right? So also 5 minutes. So then we can just do minutes divided by, let's see, 5. Um, times 30. I think this is right. Let me Let me think this through. So for each, say if it goes 60 minutes, then that means it's going to be 30. 30 times 30 is, 
Uh, whatever that is. Calc. I think I might have gotten this wrong. Pretty sure it's... Yeah, 900. Okay. Um, let's think about this. Oh, no, wait. Because the 30 or 65 by 5 is not 30. See, even I'm uh, struggling with this a little bit. So ideally, angle minutes, if we want it 60, we want it to be 360. So let's think about this a little bit more. If the minute hand moves, for each 5 minutes, it moves 30 degrees. So, okay, oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, you just do minutes divided by 5 times 30. Pretty sure this is it. So... Yeah, I'm not sure if that's what I had before. So if we have 60 minutes divided by 5 times 30, 360. Okay, good. Looks like it worked. Sorry about that. See, this, th these are the things you kind of want to talk through with your interviewer. You see, even I struggled with this, so this is my first time working on this. So now that we have the angle hour and angle minutes, we want to find the smallest one between them. So let's just do double angle 1 equals angle hour minus angle minutes. We're just basically going to find the two angles. Angle minutes minus angle hour. And again, this might not be the most uh, efficient way to do it, but let's make sure to do math absolute. And let's make sure we do math absolute on this. And then all we have to do um, if angle 1 is less than angle 2, console dot right line angle 1, else console dot right line. At this point, of course, we solve the problem, but we just have to make sure we check it. Okay, so at 5, let's uh, do an easy one. Uh, let's say it's uh, 12 o'clock. Let's see what this returns us. 360, and that makes sense, right? Because the 12th hand is here, and then the 0 is also here. Hmm, so it's at 360. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Let's see if we do have 1230. That one actually might be a slight bug. It should be 195. Okay, because the 12th hand has obviously moved a little bit as it's gone 30. Um, hold on, let's uh, let's think about this a little bit more. Sorry about that. Um, so I think this this 12 thing is a, is a slight bug. Um, if we have 12 hours times 30 plus 5 times minutes, 12 times 30 is going to be 360, and minutes is going to be zero. Uh, actually, yeah, zero divided by 5 times 30. Um, which I guess you might want to, it could be 360 if uh, if it's 12, um, although they are on top of each other. So it could actually be zero, so that might be a slight bug that we'd have to figure out some other way. But another uh, good indication is we have to check for 90, just see which one's 90 degrees, which would be 3. Um, okay, so, I mean, this, this works well enough, I think. Uh, we would have to fix that one bug, but... Uh, the way I talk through it and the way that is pretty much the way you have to talk through with uh, if you're in an interview and obviously you're going to be in a very stressful situation, you might want to ask for hints or something along that line. Uh, but that's it for this uh, tutorial about uh, an interview question. I'm sure there will be many more after this. Uh, tune in later. Uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment or uh, send me a message, whatever. Uh, Squack, we're sending out.